Good evening, trustees elect, Supervisor Rodriguez, Elder Gary Sue, guests, community members, and staff. Welcome to the inaugural meeting of the Peel District School Board trustees for the 2022 2026 term of office. This meeting is being live streamed and recorded and will be posted on the Peel District School Board website for future viewing. I am Rashmi Swaroop, Director of Education. As per the Education Act, the Director of Education presides over the inaugural meeting until there is a chair and vice chair elected. However, as Peel District School Board remains under provincial supervision at this time, I will be presiding over the entire meeting this evening. I call this meeting to order. I'm honored to call upon treaty partner, Elder Gary Sue, to provide an opening for our meeting this evening. As I light this fire, I light it so that the continued uh, warmth and knowledge that uh, springs from our fires uh, ignites our hearts in a good way, so that our education can be uh, continual and so that uh, you will know who the First Nations and the treaty holders are uh, that on the land that you reside upon. Welcome to the uh, treaty lands of the Mississaugas of the Credit. And uh, we join you in this uh, inaugural so that uh, you can see that uh, Reconciliation is taking place within uh, the very uh, place that you live at.
doorway is open, the doorway to understanding. And it's only through that uh, portal uh, uh, when we see the light of the fire that we come awake and alive in a good way so that uh, we can start to understand our brothers and sisters. And uh, they're all over. They're right next beside you and sitting there and uh, I hope they're looking at me. <laughs> and then that, uh, I don't know whether this fire is uh, uh, making you uh, cough, but uh, that's okay. I'll put it out. Hope it don't catch on fire. There. So I, uh, I see, I know some people are, are allergic to the smoke and they, they, uh, they can't uh, uh, take it, but with us, uh, we believe that that's our prayers uh, going up to the Creator. And uh, so uh, I hope it don't take her right now. So uh, I give thanks for this, uh, this time that I have with you and with the uh, election and the um, education board that has been set up inside a year uh, to protect your children and to teach them in a good way. So when, as I look at the uh, good way that is uh, coming to us, I hope uh, that uh, uh, our children uh, will be raised up in a good and timely manner and be able to uh, procure the uh, things that they need. I always looked at it the way the First Nations people were at one time. They hunted and they, uh, they fished, and that's how they brought the food to the table. And it was because we learned the skills from our uh, parents and our grandfathers. And, but in today's world, uh, that doesn't uh, bring the food upon our tables. We have to know math, we have to know sciences, uh, we have to know geography. We have to know all of those things in order uh, to live in the world that we live in today. So uh, let's pick up the tools that we need uh, to procure the food that will come upon our table. Miigwech. And with that, the fire is out. And so, I'm going to leave you now, and uh, you can carry on with your, with your meeting. But uh, I hope you continue your uh, reconciliation in a good way, so that uh, you will understand our people a little bit better. And we get to, to know you, too. Miigwech. Thank you, Elder Gary Sue, for that most meaningful opening and for anchoring our respect, renewal, and affirmation of our responsibilities to and relationships with treaty partners as we embark on this new term of office. Now please stand for the playing of O Canada.
It is my pleasure to introduce to you the trustees elect, starting on my left, Lucas Alves, Wards 3, 4, Mississauga, Carla Bailey, Ward 7, 8, Brampton, Susan Benjamin, Ward 5, Mississauga, Stan Cameron, Caledon, Jeff Clark, Ward 9, 10, Mississauga, Leon Cole, Wards 1, 7, Mississauga, Will Davies, Wards 2, 6, Brampton, David Green, Wards 1, 5, Brampton, Satpal Singh Johal, Wards 9, 10, Brampton, Brad McDonald, Wards 2, 8, Mississauga, Kathy McDonald, Wards 3, 4, Brampton, and Jill Pramoli, Wards 6, 11, Mississauga. We will now proceed to administering the declarations of oath by the trustees elect. As per the Education Act, the Director of Education administers the oath of office. I will be moving to the podium and will call each trustee elect up to the podium individually and each trustee elect will take their oath of office and sign their declaration of oath of office. Each trustee elect will also sign and acknowledge receipt and adherence to the trustee code of conduct. Then the trustee elect shall return to their seat and I will call upon the next trustee elect until all 12 of the trustee elects have been sworn in. We are very pleased that the student trustees have joined us this evening. The student trustees are on a different election cycle as they are elected for a one year term that coincides with the start of the school year. The student trustees, Avneet Atwal and Evelyn Lee, were sworn in in August. of the Oath of Office. Before you is the Oath of Office, please read aloud your declaration of oath. <clears throat> I, Lucas Alves, having been elected to the office of Peel District School Board Trustee, solemnly promise and declare that I am not disqualified under any act from being a member of the Peel District School Board of Trustees. I will truly, faithfully, impartially, and to the best of my ability, execute the office of a board member. I declare that I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of any partiality or malversation or other undue execution of the said office. I promise that I will disclose any peculiarity interest, direct or indirect, as required by and in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. This is declared before me at the city of Mississauga in the province of Ontario, the 16th day of November 2022, Congratulations on your election to the board. Thank you. I would ask that you sign these two copies. Sorry, these two. Next, please sign the acknowledgement that you have received and reviewed the trustee code of conduct and will adhere to its provisions as you perform your duties as a trustee of the Peel District School Board.
Thank you and congratulations. I call upon Carla Bailey to join me for the administration of the oath of office. Before you is the oath of office, please read aloud your declaration of oath. I, Carla Bailey, have been elected to the office of Peel District School Board tr trustee solemnly promise and declare that I am not disqualified under any act from being a member of the Peel District School Board of Trustees. I will truly, faithfully, and impartially and to the best of my ability, execute the office of, board mem of a board member. I declare that I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward uh, or promise thereof for the exercise of any partiality or malversation or other undue execution of the said office. I promise that I will disclose any pecuniary interests, direct or indirect, as required by and in accordance with the, the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. This is declared before me at the city of Mississauga in the province of Ontario, the 16th day of November 2022. Congratulations on your election to the board. May I ask you to please sign Next, please sign the acknowledgement that you have received and reviewed the trustee code of conduct and will adhere to its provisions as you perform your duties as a trustee of the Peel District School Board. Two copies. Thank you and congratulations. I call upon Susan Benjamin to join me for the administration of the oath of office. Before you is the oath of office, please read aloud your declaration of oath. I, Susan Benjamin, having been elected to the office of Peel District School Board trustee, solemnly promise and declare that I am not disqualified under any act from being a member of the Peel District School Board of Trustees. I will truly, faithfully, impartially, and to the best of my ability, execute the office of a board member. I declare that I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of any partiality or malversation or other undue execution of the said office. I promise that I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, as required by and in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. 
This is declared before me at the city of Mississauga in the province of Ontario, the 16th day of November, 2022. Congratulations on your election to the board. Thank you. May I ask you to please sign the two copies here? Next, please sign the acknowledgement that you have received and reviewed the trustee code of conduct and will adhere to its provisions as you perform your duties as a trustee of the Peel District School Board. Thank you and congratulations. I call upon Stan Cameron to join me for the administration for the oath of office. Before you is the oath of office, please read aloud your declaration of oath. I, Stan Cameron, having been acclaimed to the office of the Peel District School Board Trustee, I solemnly promise and declare that I am not disqualified under any act from being a member of the Peel District School Board of Trustees. I will truly, faithfully, impartially and to the best of my ability, execute the office of a board member. I declare that I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of any partiality or malversation or other undue execution of the said office. I promise that I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, as required by and in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. This is declared before me at the city of Mississauga in the province of Ontario, the 16th day of November, 2022. Congratulations on your election to the board. Next, please sign the acknowledgement that you have received and reviewed the trustee code of conduct and will adhere to its provisions as you perform your duties as a trustee of the Peel District School Board. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you. I call upon Jeff Clark to join me for the administration of the oath of office. Before you is the oath of office, please read aloud your declaration of oath. I, Jeffrey Clark, having been elected to the office Appeal District School Board Trustee solemnly promise and declare that I am not disqualified under any act from being a member of the Peel District School Board of Trustees. I will f truly, faithfully, impartially, to the best of my ability, execute the office of a board member. I declare that I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of any, impar any partiality or malversation or other undue execution of the said office. I promise that I will disclose any procurement, pu <laughs> per well, in pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, as required by and in accordance with the Municipal, Municipal Co Conflict of Interest Act. 
This is declared before me at the city of Mississauga in the province of Ontario, the 16th day of November 2022. Congratulations on your election to the board. I ask you to please sign the declaration. Next, please sign the acknowledgement that you have received and reviewed the trustee code of conduct and will adhere to its provisions as you perform your duties as a trustee of the Peel District School Board. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you. I call upon Leanne Cole to join me for the administration of the oath of office. Before you is the oath of office, please read aloud your declaration of oath. I, Leanne Cole, having been elected to the office of Peel District School Board Trustee, solemnly promise and declare that I am not disqualified under any act from being a member of the Peel District School Board of Trustees. I will truly, faithfully, impartially, and to the best of my ability, execute the office of a board member. I declare that I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of any partiality, malversation, or any other undue execution of the said office. I promise that I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, as required by and in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. This is declared before me at the city of Mississauga in the province of Ontario, the 16th day of November, 2022. Congratulations on your election to the board. Please sign two copies of the... Next, please sign the acknowledgement that you have received and reviewed the trustee code of conduct and will adhere to its provisions as you perform your duties as a trustee of the Peel District School Board. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you. I call upon Will Davies to join me for the administration of the oath of office. Before you is the oath of office, please read aloud your declaration of oath. I, Will Davies, having been elected to the office of the Peel District School Board Trustee, solemnly promise and declare that I am not disqualified under any act from being a member of the Peel District School Board of Trustees. I will truly, faithfully, impartially, and to the best of my ability, execute the office of a board member. I declare that I have not received and will not receive any payment, reward, or promise thereof for the exercise of any partiality, malfeasance, or other undue execution of said office. I promise that I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, as required by and in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. 
This is declared before me at the city of Mississauga in the province of Ontario the 16th day of November 2022. Congratulations on your election to the board. Please sign two copies. Next, please sign the acknowledgement that you have received and reviewed the trustee code of conduct and will adhere to its provisions as you perform your duties as a trustee of the Peel District School Board. Thank you and congratulations. I call upon David Green to join me for the administration of the oath of office. Before you is the oath of office, please read aloud your declaration of oath. I, David Green, having been elected to the office of the Peel District School Board Trustee, solemnly <coughs> promise and declare that I am not disqualified under any act from being a member of the Peel District School Board of Trustee. I will truly, faithfully, impartially, and to the best of my ability, execute the office of the board member. I declare that I have not received or will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of any partiality or manifestation or other undue execution of the said office. I promise that I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, as required by any in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. This is declared before me at the city of Mississauga in the province of Ontario, the 16th day of November 2022. Congratulations on your election to the board. Please sign. Next. Please sign the acknowledgement that you have received and reviewed the trustee code of conduct and will adhere to its provisions as you perform your duties as a trustee of the Peel District School Board. Thank you. Thank you and congratulations. I call upon Sir Paul Singh Johal to join me for the administration of the oath of office. Before you is the oath of office, please read aloud your declaration of oath. I, Sat Paul Singh Johal, having been elected to the office of Peel District School Board Trustee, solemnly promise and declare that I am not disqualified under any act from being a member of the Peel District School Board of Trustees. I will truly, faithfully, impartially and to the best of my ability, execute the office of a board member. I declare that I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof uh, for the exercise of any partiality or malversation or other undue execution of the said office. I promise that I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, as required by and in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. This is declared before me at the city of Mississauga in the province of Ontario the 16th day of November 2022. Congratulations on your election to the board. May I ask you to sign two copies.
Next, please sign the acknowledgement that you've received and reviewed the trustee code of conduct and will adhere to its provisions as you perform your duties as a trustee of the Peel District School Board. Thank you. I call upon Brad McDonald to join me for the administration of the oath of office. Before you use the oath of office, please read aloud your declaration of oath. Certainly. I, Brad McDonald, having been elected to the office of the Peel District School Board trustee, solemnly promise and declare that I'm not disqualified under any act from being a member of the Peel District School Board of Trustees. I will truthfully, faithfully, impartially, and to the best of my ability, execute the office of a board member. I declare I have not received and will not receive any pavement or re reward or promise thereof of the or the exercise of any particular particularity or malversion or other undue ex execution of the said office. I promise that I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, as required by and in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. This is declared before me at the city of Mississauga in the province of Ontario, the 16th day of November 2022. <coughs> Congratulations on your election to the board. Please sign the declaration to copies here. Next, please sign the acknowledgement that you've received and reviewed the trustee code of conduct and will adhere to its provisions as you perform your duties as a trustee of the Peel District School Board. Thank you and congratulations. I call upon Kathy McDonald to join me for the administration of the oath of office. Before you use the oath of office, please read aloud your declaration of oath. I, Kathy MacDonald, having been elected to the office of the Peel District School Board trustee, solemnly promise and declare that I'm not disqualified under any act from being a member of the Peel District School Board of Trustees. I will truly, faithfully, impartially, and to the best of my ability, execute the office of a board member. I declare that I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of any partiality or malversation or other undue execution of the said office. I promise that I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, as required by and in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. This is declared before me at the city of Mississauga in the province of Ontario, the 16th day of November 2022. Congratulations on your election to the board. Thank you. 
decide to copy this. <coughs> Next, please sign the acknowledgement that you have received and reviewed the trustee code of conduct and will adhere to its provisions as you perform your duties as a trustee of the Peel District School Board. Thank you and congratulations. I call upon Jill Pramoli to join me for the administration of the oath of office. Before you is the oath of office, please read aloud your declaration of oath. I, Jill Pramoli, having been elected to the office of Peel Dis District School Board trustee, solemnly promise and declare that I am not disqualified under any act from being a member of the Peel District School Board of Trustees. I will truly, faithfully, impartially, and to the best of my ability, execute the office of a board member. I declare that I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of any partiality or malversation or any other undue execution of said office. I promise that I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, as required by and in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. This is declared before me at the city of Mississauga in the province of Ontario, the 16th day of November, 2022. Congratulations on your election to the board. Next, please sign the acknowledgement that you have received and reviewed the trustee code of conduct and will adhere to its provisions as you perform your duties as a trustee of the Peel District School Board. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you. to present to you the 2022-2026 Peel District School Board of Trustees. <laughs> the next order of business is the election of the chair and vice chair of the board. As you are all aware, Peel District School Board is under provincial supervision. On November 27, 2019, the Minister of Education commenced a review of the Peel District School Board to address concerns about systemic discrimination, specifically anti-black racism, and serious issues related to governance, leadership, and human resources practices in the board. Based on the reviewer's report and recommendations, the Minister of Education issued 27 binding directives to the board on March 13, 2020. The province appointed a supervisor to oversee the board and Supervisor Rodriguez 
remains the spokesperson for the board and the sole decision maker for the board of trustees. However, given the work done to date and given the recent election, Supervisor Rodriguez has determined that a chair and vice chair, chair should be elected by the newly sworn in board at this time. While the full duties of the chair and vice chair may not be exercised, some of the duties will be performed by the elected chair and vice chair. Given that there are six new trustees, before the actual election of the chair and vice chair, it is appropriate to describe the role of the chair of the board with the caveat that the supervisor currently retains the responsibilities that I will be describing. Also, it should be noted that the positions of chair and vice chair are elected annually. This election is for a one year term. The following are the main duties of the chair of the board. The chair is the spokesperson regarding anything to do with the trustees and the strategic plan of the board. The director of education or their designate is the spokesperson regarding operations of the board. The chair presides over meetings of the board, conducting the meetings in accordance with the procedures and practices of the board and parliamentary rules. Works with the governance officer and director of education to establish the agenda for board meetings. Ensures that trustees have the information needed, primarily through staff reports to the board for informed discussion of an agenda item and decision making acts as a liaison between the Board of Trustees and the Director of Education. Provides leadership to the Board to maintain the Board's focus on multi-year plans, strategic plans, and the Board's mission and vision. To achieve these duties effectively, a Chair must have strong leadership abilities, a sense of fairness, be a facilitator, and have some knowledge of the system. The chair may vote on all matters, but has only one vote, the same as any other trustee. The chair must adhere to the board's directions and may not act unilaterally. The chair of the board is also an individual trustee and has no greater rights or powers than any other member of the board other than the aforementioned additional duties. We will now receive nominations for the position of chair. Please raise your hand and keep your hand up until you are recognized. If you wish to put forward a nomination, and also please note that a trustee may nominate themselves. So you may now, okay. So I see Trustee Alves, Trustee Bailey, Trustee Cameron, <coughs> Trustee Alves, who are you nominating? Trustee Bailey, who are you nominating? Trustee Cameron. You may use the speaker if you need to. So, I have received three nominations, two nominations of which, yes, for the following trustees to serve as chair of the board, Kathy McDonald and David Green. Are there any other trustees who wish to serve as chair of the board?
I have a motion from Trustee Luke Alves to appoint Trustee Kathy McDonald as Chair of the Board of Trustees. Do I have a seconder for this motion? Trustee Bromley. I have a motion from Trustee Cameron to appoint Trustee David Green as Chair of the Board of Trustees. Do I have a seconder for this motion? Thank you. May I now have a motion that the nominations be closed? Moved by Trustee McDonald and seconded by Trustee Cameron. All in favor? Carried. There are two nominations for the position of Chair of the Board. Each nominee, in the order in which they were nominated, will be afforded an opportunity to speak from their seats for up to five minutes regarding their candidacy. <coughs> Trustee Kathy McDonald, you're invited to speak at this time for up to five minutes regarding your candidacy. Thank you, and thank you for your nomination and for seconding this nomination. I feel truly humbled to be nominated in this role. And what I am going to speak about is the qualities I think that I possess, why I think I will be a good leader uh, for this board as we transition. My most important quality is that I'm an honest person who is not driven by financial gain or fame, but driven to do what is right by students and the families that I serve. I am very thorough and always come prepared to meetings and pay attention to details. I have the institutional knowledge required to do the job. My emotions don't cloud my judgment or my votes. I will always vote and do what is right for students and the families we serve. I am eloquent and can represent the board in any arena. I am a humble servant leader who is a lifelong learner, always ready to listen and to take advice. I can confidently say I have a very collaborative style and I have the respect of the staff, senior admin and the director's office. I understand and I will uphold good governance practices I have many certificates which are relevant to that role. I am active in the Ontario Public School Board Association. I have a certification in all the modules. I have a postgraduate diploma in the theory of teaching practices from the University of Guelph. I have two certificates in, on Indigenous studies and in the process on getting one on Sikhism. I also am trained in Robert Rules of Order and I understand the, uh, how to preside over meetings. I also feel that as we transition from the current uh, situation and we are still under supervision, that I will be a, the perfect person to help build relationships and work together with the director's office, the board of trustees, as well as staff, students, and the community. 
I could confidently say that I think that I'll be the best person to bridge the relationship with the board and the community. I have been involved with the PDSD for over 20 years in many capacities as a volunteer, parent, PIC co-chair, school council chair, school board trustee, representing the magnificent wards of three and four, and hopefully as a chair. At this juncture, I am very pleased to stand as a candidate, and I'm thrilled to continue the wonderful work of transforming our board to be reflective and inclusive community that meets the needs of all students and families. As chair, it will be my honor to work collaboratively with my colleagues, the director's office, and her team, and ensuring that the PDSB exercises our authority, direction, and accountability to serve the higher moral purpose of public education. I will lead this board to have clearly defined roles, relationships, and be behavior parameters for the board and its staff. With the Education Act as my guide, I will work collaboratively to ensure that the PDSB continues to improve the strategic direction of the board and the quality of the board's leadership. As chair, I will work with my colleagues in consultation with the staff and community with a clear vision will be created and shared by Director Saroub. Together, the policies will be established which will be critical in achieving this goal. The budget will be consistent with the priorities established by the board. The performance of the myriad of initiatives undertaken by this board will be communicated to the community and will undergo regular reassessments, thereby ensuring that all students are getting the education that they are legally entitled to. My responsibility for student achievement and well-being, student safety and inclusive school environment and responsibility of ensuring effective stewardship of the board's resources and delivering effective and appropriate educational programs for the students is a responsibility I do not take lightly. I promise to always center students in all that I do and ensure their mental health as well as the mental health of staff is on the forefront, forefront of my mind. So once again, I'd just like to thank you for this nomination. Thank you, Trustee Kathy McDonald. <laughs> Trustee David Green, you are invited to speak at this time for up to five minutes regarding your candidacy. Okay. Thank you, and good afternoon to each and every one, Director Su, Supervisor Rodriguez, my colleagues, and to the public and staff members that are here this afternoon. I want to take the time to express my thanks and appreciation uh, to my colleagues for nominating and seconding me. I believe that a leadership influence and not manages any organization. And we do that through transparency, relationship building, and uh, trust. Over the years that I've been a trustee with this board, I've developed and I've earned the respect of staff students, the public at large, have worked cohesively with a team of people to ensure that as I work alongside them, that everything that I do, it's all about students, empowering students, pro providing the tools that they need to be the next leaders of our generation. Experience that I bring to the table, December 1st will be 20 years um, a trustee. In that time, I have served an every committee in this board. I have chaired every committee in this board except for SIAC. Outside of this board, I have also been the vice chair of the Ontario School Board Central West Region for three years. Also was the vice chair of this board. Now, presently, I'm the VP of enrollment with the Ontario School Board Association. I've built relationship across the province with the Ontario School Board Association, with CSBA, National School Board Association, 
with NSBA, the International School Board Association. I build relationship with the ministry. I have connection with the ministry that recently the ministry see fit to invite me to sit in two different committees that look in trustee code of conduct and human rights module for trustee across this province. Some of the key role as a chair of the board is to ensure that we develop a multi-year strategic plan we, and look at also at our annual learning goal as a board. We're responsible for policies and procedures in all these years, I have been part of strategic goal in this board three times. I was the vice chair of the policy development committee and chair with the Ontario School Board Association that looks and develops policy for smaller boards who do not have the staffing to do that. Key piece also of the board is the budget. And I have been chair of the budget committee for more than Eight years, I've sit on the committee for about five, uh, ten years. I sit on the committee and I chaired for about eight years, working with the staff in these areas. I believe that my role and my experience also take me outside of the school board. This is where I build relationship in the community, working with community, developing programs and support that have a voice of my community, the voice of the students that we serve in the community. I have worked diligently with large group and small group, ensuring that relationships are built, networks are formed. And I promise, if I became chair of this board, it is my duty is to work cohesively with this board to develop a relationship relationship that is transferable, not just with the trustees, but with staff, with my community, with students, and everyone that I come in contact with. Because together, we got work to do. But together, we can do this. We can work hard to ensure that we are providing the tools that our children need so that they can be confident, competent to be the next leaders in this community and that they can compete in this global world that we are in right now. I promise if I became chair, I will ensure that not only that we are working cohesively together, but the voice of the community will be part of every decision that we make as a board. I look forward to continue serving this board in whatever capacity, whatever decision is made tonight, I look forward to continue to work with this board cohesively to ensure that the work that has begun, the work, the directive that is in place, that we move those forward and that we continue providing the support, looking outside of the box to provide support for those that are marginalized and those that are vulnerable. Continue to advocate with the ministry for funding and support that support, especially our special needs kids. Ensure that our staff and students feel safe in the environment that they are. This, I cannot do it alone. I have to do it together with you. I thank you. Thank you, Trustee David Green. Thank you to all the nominees. To be declared elected, the winning nominee must receive a simple majority, being at least 50% of the votes plus one of the ballots cast by members. Members may vote for themselves if they have been nominated. The vote for chair will be a secret ballot. The internal audit team will be the scrutineers administering the vote. Trustees, the ballots on which you will vote are in front of you. When asked, Please indicate your vote by writing the name of the trustee that you support for the position of chair. The ballot should be completed with just one name. If there is more than one name on the ballot, the ballot will be considered spoiled and will not be counted. If there's a spoiled ballot, the tabulation of votes will be based on number of unspoiled ballots. For example, if two ballots are spoiled, the vote will be tabulated based on 10 votes such that six votes in favor of one nominee will be a majority of votes. The scrutineers will collect the ballots 
and proceed to the Brampton room, the room immediately adjacent to this room on my right, to count the votes. Once counted, the scrutineers will share the results with me and I will announce them. If a simple majority cannot be determined, the nominee with the least number of votes will be dropped from the ballot and voting will continue with the remaining nominees until a simple majority can be determined. In the event that there's a two-way tie vote for the least number of votes, a drawing of lots will take place among the nominees who are tied. The name drawn is an affirmative vote in favor of the nominee, and the nominee whose name is drawn will result, will result in the nominee remaining on the ballot for the next vote. The scrutineer will draw the lots. In the event that there are more than three nominees and there's a three or more way tie for the least number of votes, each name drawn will result in the candidate remaining on the ballot for the next vote until there's only one name left that has not been drawn. The name not drawn will be dropped from the ballot. In the event that there's an equality of votes, a tie amongst all nominees, for example, if there are three nominees and they each receive four votes, an additional vote will be conducted. If after the further vote there continues to be an equality of votes between the nominees, a drawing of lots will take place among the nominees. Names will be drawn until one remains. The names drawn will remain on the ballot for the next vote. The name nominee not drawn will be dropped from the ballot for the next vote. The scrutineer will draw the lots. Trustees, please take a ballot. Please cast your vote for chair of the board by writing the name of the nominee on the ballot. Please note that a nominee may cast a vote for himself or herself. Please fold the ballot in half and the scrutineer will collect the ballots from you.
pleased to announce that Trustee David Green has received more than a simple majority of the vote and hereby is elected Chair of the Peel District School Board of Trustees for a term ending November 14, 2023 or until a successor is appointed. Congratulations, Trustee David Green. The next item is to elect a vice chair. The process for electing the vice chair is the same as the process for electing the chair. The role of vice chair is to in effect step in for the chair when the chair is unable to fulfill their duties due to absence, etc. The same qualities that make an effective chair will also make an effective vice chair. We will now receive nominations for the position of vice chair. Please raise your hand and keep it raised until you are recognized if you wish to put forward a nomination. Please note that a trustee may nominate themselves. If you may not have heard, Trustee Brad, Brad McDonald, please confirm your nominating. Trustee Lee and Co. Trustee Lee and Co. Trustee Alps, you are nominating. Jill Promote. Jill Promote. I have received two nominations for the following trustees to serve as Vice Chair of the Board. Leanne Cole and Jill Pramoli. Are there any other trustees who wish to serve as vice chair of the board? I have a motion from trustee Brad McDonald to appoint trustee Leanne Cole as vice chair of the board of trustees. Do I have a seconder for this motion? Trustee Green. Do you, Trustee Leanne Cole, accept the nomination? Yes. I have a motion from Trustee Alves to appoint Trustee Jill Promoli as Vice Chair of the Board of Trustees. Do I have a seconder for this motion? Trustee Bailey. Do you, Trustee Pramoli, accept the nomination? Yes, I do. May I now have a motion that the nominations be closed? Moved by Trustee Cameron and seconded by Trustee Alves. All in favor? Carried. <coughs> there are two nominations for the position of Vice Chair of the Board. Each nominee in the order in which they were nominated will be afforded an opportunity to speak for up to five minutes regarding their candidacy. Trustee Leanne Cole, you're invited to speak at this time for up to five minutes regarding your candidacy. Thank you. 
Thanks everyone for coming tonight. The reason I ran for public school board trustee was because I have three kids, two of which have graduated from our school system and one of which is still in school in grade six. I became aware of uh, issues within the schools through my own children's eyes and I would speak to them about what they thought uh, some of the things that they would like to see done in the school board was. Uh, so I took that first-hand knowledge and I thought this would be a great opportunity to speak on behalf of our children as well as the parents. My background is not in education. I've never been a trustee. However, I worked as a registered nurse in child and adolescent mental health for over six years and I saw some of these children's uh, stories when they came in that would sit and, and talk to me and open up to me about what they were feeling. Um, so the majority of the issues that I heard of and that I saw were stemming from mental health issues surrounding bullying, uh, racism in the schools, and the list can go on. I decided again uh, that I could probably bring some of my nursing knowledge and some of the work that I did with the children, uh, 18 and below, uh, to the table and speak on their behalf. My goal is to work alongside all of my fellow trustees, getting to know everybody. Um, as you know, we're all, some of us are new, some of us are not. Um, and I do want to make uh, my best effort in um, getting to know everybody and making sure that everybody can uh, speak and get things done. My hope, <laughs> I think, for this year would be to learn as I'm in a brand new role. And I would appreciate everybody, if I am nominated, uh, to step up, help me. Um, I'm open to new learning. I'm open to suggestions. This is a huge honor for me to even be elected. Um, and I just want to say thank you to everybody for your support. And thank you to everybody tonight for coming. Thank you, Trustee Leanne Cole. Trustee Promoli, you're invited to speak at this time for up to five minutes regarding your candidacy. Hi, everyone. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for the, the nomination and the seconding, and thank you so much for the opportunity to be here. Um, what an incredible honor, to, honor it is to be here, to have the opportunity to work for what I think is one of the most important things that we have here in Ontario, and that's making sure that we're taking care of the needs of our children. Uh, when I was growing up, we didn't have a lot in my family, but we had really great public schools, and that gave me every opportunity. And so today I have two kids in our public school system. They're right in the front row right there, and uh, doing okay, considering this is a, kind of a long meeting. <laughs> um, but I've watched how things have been going up the last, well, seven years that they've been in the system. Uh, some of you will have seen me before if you've been around the board for a little while. I was here for a delegation three years ago, uh, but for the last six years I've been advocating for better in our schools and in public health throughout our community because six years ago we lost one of our children to a school flu outbreak. And the work that I've been doing in these years since then has been to try to do what we can to make things better uh, in terms of you know, making sure that we have safe, healthy, well-maintained schools and taking care of the needs of our kids at every, at every step. Uh, these last couple years have brought a lot of challenges to all of us across Ontario, across the globe. And uh, as we're moving forward, we need to make sure that we're prioritizing our kids' needs. And far too often we see that they're left on the back burner, especially here in Peel, where we got hit harder than any other community across Ontario. So I want best for my kids. I want the best for every single kid here in Peel. I know we have a significant number of challenges as we're working forward, and we need to be united as a board as we're figuring out how to take those next steps together. We are fortunate that we do have uh, six returning trustees. I want to make sure that I'm learning everything that I can from everyone who's coming back to this board because there's a lot of experience sitting at this table right now. And there's also six new trustees, and I'm so excited to be here uh, bringing those fresh perspectives together we have a lot to learn together. We have a lot to learn from each other. 
Uh, I also have so much respect from Leanne. I don't think we can make a wrong decision tonight, so I'm really proud to be sitting here. And uh, either way that we go, I know it's going to be a great choice. And I'm just really proud to have this opportunity to work together as a team of 12, knowing how important this work is ahead. I would be very honored to have the opportunity to serve as your vice chair. I know how much there is to learn. I know how great the responsibility is. And I know that I will tell you that I will never stop fighting. Uh, as I said, I've spent the last six years advocating for our kids, for public health, for education. I have knocked on every door from my school all the way up to the Prime Minister's office, and I have been loud about it at every single step, and I'm not about to stop being loud. But I'm also a very big believer in making sure that we're uh, stepping forward always with respect and compassion and doing everything that we can together, because I think that's where our strength is. So um, if you do choose to vote for me, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate it. But whatever happens tonight, I'm so excited for the four years that we have ahead. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Trustee Pramoli. Thank you to all nominees. To be declared elected, the winning nominee must receive a simple majority being at least 50% of the votes plus one of the ballots cast by members. Members may vote for themselves if they have been nominated. The vote for vice chair will be a secret ballot. The internal audit team will again be administering the vote. Please indicate your vote by writing the name of the trustee that you support for the position of vice chair on the ballot. The ballot should be completed with just one name. If there's more than one name on the ballot, the ballot will be considered spoiled and will not be counted. If there's a spoiled ballot, the tabulation of both votes will be based on the number of unspoiled ballots. You may take a ballot and cast your vote for vice chair. No and the scrutineers will collect the ballots for you. I'm pleased to announce that Trustee Leanne Cole has received more than a simple majority of the vote 
and here is hereby elected Vice Chair of the Peel District School Board of Trustees for a term ending November 14, 2023, or until a successor is appointed. Congratulations, Trustee Cole. Once again, congratulations to Trustee David Green, Chair of the Peel District School Board of Trustees, and Trustee Leanne Cole, Vice Chair of the Peel District School Board. I would now like to extend an opportunity to the Chair and Vice Chair to share a few marks before we proceed. Chair Green, would you like to make a few remarks? Please do so from your seat. Thank you. Uh, again, Director Sewell, Supervisor Rodriguez, my colleagues, and to staff members, and each and every one that's here this afternoon uh, supporting um, all the trustees. It's truly an honor for me this evening, and it's with a humble heart uh, that I sit here this evening to say thank you to my colleagues for your confidence and your trust in me. I promise that together we will work cohesively. The work that has begun, we will ensure that this work is moved forward. This is not about me. I'm only one individual. It's going to take a team to move this work forward. And I promise that with, together we will work, not just as the board and staff, but with our community and with children. Their voice must be, be an integral part of everything that we do as we move forward. Together, we will look at our strategic goal. We will look at our strategic plan. Together, we will look at our policies and procedure to make sure that they're relevant to the children that we serve today and to ensure that every children are provided an opportunity to excel and use their talent so that they can move forward to see themselves as the next generation of leader. Together, we will make this happen. Under my leadership, we will meet regularly to ensure that we are building bridge, we're closing the gap. And I promise that I will use my experience to mentor our new trustees, provide opportunity for growth and development to ensure that together this work will continue. I want to thank you again and to the staff, I look forward to work with you as your new chair and to ensure that everything we do will be all about student success. Thank you. Thank you, Chair David Green. Vice Chair Leon Cole, would you like to make a few remarks? I will echo David Green in saying that I'm very proud and honored to have received this um, election tonight. I'm, I'm actually in shock. <laughs> so thank you to everybody. And um, I look forward to upholding uh, the Peel District School Board's uh, values. Um, and I look forward to working with everybody and learning from everybody and upholding our uh, values here together and listening to everybody and I really really look forward to this year and I think that we can do a lot of good for our children and their families I really do believe that and I think everybody here that I've spoken to it's pretty much everyone now has that same outlook and the same values and um, we all want to be here for the right reasons and that makes me really really proud and I'm very honored and thankful I'll say it again and um, Again, I look forward to working with everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Vice Chair Leanne Cole. The next item on the agenda is an opportunity for me to extend a few remarks. Congratulations to all trustees. I look forward to serving alongside each of you as we continue to build a more responsive education system rooted in equity, inclusion, and human rights where all students feel a deep sense of belonging 
to meaningfully engage in culturally responsive and relevant learning to ensure success for all students. Our vision at Peel District School Board is to work towards creating an excellent public education system in partnership with diverse communities who hold great knowledge and expertise. The advocacy by communities, especially the black community, is evidenced through the ministry review, which laid a strong foundation for ensuring equitable outcomes for all Peel students, specifically those traditionally and currently underserved with a priority on black and indigenous students. With this understanding, I remain dedicated and committed to achieving the mandates of the ministry directives and beyond. The work of the directives has never been seen as a checklist, but rather our baseline actions towards sustainable and transformative change to ensure we eradicate long-standing systemic oppression, discrimination, and inequities that have led to various forms of racism and marginalization being experienced by many communities in the region of Peel. At this year's starting point, which launched in the 2022-23 school year, I addressed the staff about the importance of building better together. Our mission, to inspire success, confidence, and hope in each student is foundational to all that we do. We must continue to work as a collective to create the necessary conditions for all students to succeed by empowering their voice and ensuring agency to create a culture of innovation, collaboration, and deep sustainable change guided by our four system priorities. The first priority is achievement. Student achievement and building relationships are at the heart of my leadership. As the director, it is important for me to listen and learn to better understand diverse perspectives and ways of knowing, doing, and being as we work together to continue to serve our students and communities. Our teaching and learning spaces must be responsive to the intersecting identities of our students, which represent who they are and who they aspire to be. The next priority is human rights and equity. Students, staff, parents, guardians, and Peel District School Board community members all have the right to learning and work environments that are respectful, dignified, and free from discrimination based on protected grounds of discrimination under the Ontario Human Rights Code and Policy 51 Human Rights. Peel District School Board is committed to providing a safe and nurturing learning and work environment that allows all community members to realize their full potential. Mental health, well-being, and engagement are critical priorities. It is important for us to foster supportive relationships with all students, families, and staff by listening, responding, and forging meaningful connections and to support individual, organizational, and community mental health and well-being. We are committed to promoting positive mental health and providing early interventions through mental health supports. Next, I'll speak to the priority of pathways and transitions. As we prepare students for the future, innovation will play a pivotal role in creating more sustainable practices and new models of learning. When centering students' intersecting identities and lived experiences, they are positioned as knowledge creators as opposed to knowledge consumers. This is important because it empowers them to generate multiple pathways and explore their passions. It will also deepen student learning experiences that foster global competencies and future readiness skills in preparation for an ever-changing global community. As we look towards the future, your leadership to set policy and strategic direction will be vital in transformation of Peel District School Board in creating equitable, inclusive, and innovative learning opportunities so that each student can meet their full potential. Thank you and congratulations to each of you once again. I look forward to these next four years of collaborating, innovating, 
and celebrating student achievements with you as we create an excellent and responsive public education system that empowers our students to become global citizens. And now I'd like to share the video that was shown at the beginning of Starting Point event in August featuring students, educators, staff, and alumni. When we are united in our purpose, we can serve our students, families, and communities better. This school year, we are ready to meet our moment. For each of the more than 155,000 students counting on us, for each of our more than 20,000 colleagues looking to one another for support within and beyond the walls of our 259 schools, spanning 1,247 square kilometers, where more than 114 languages are spoken. Our Peel family is on a journey of transformation. We are reimagining education with a focus on student voice and agency. We are impassioned educators support staff and school and system leaders working alongside community activists and education partners to create more equitable, inclusive, innovative and sustainable learning environments for students. Schools are bustling with innovative models of learning, resources reflective of students' intersectional identities and diverse learning experiences that teach the technical and soft skills needed to succeed in the years ahead. Experiential learning partnerships are helping students of all abilities with everything from finding their voice to exploring post-secondary and career opportunities that otherwise may not have been within reach. PDSB is transforming to create a culture of inclusion with new policies, processes and structures that are critical in dismantling anti-black racism anti-indigenous racism and all forms of system inequities and oppression. And now, other school boards across Canada are looking to us as leaders as we forge a new way forward by eliminating systemic inequities while putting each student's well-being, achievement and sense of belonging at the forefront of all we do. Time and time again, over the past two years, especially in a global pandemic, we came together to meet our moment. Through our daily efforts, we are altering the trajectory of students' lives for the better, so that one day PDSB students will go out and change the world around them. When people are educated, society is transformed. Financial literacy becomes financial transformation and economic development. Climate literacy becomes climate action. Digital literacy becomes digital transformation. A book becomes a dream, a pen becomes a policy, and a microscope becomes the cure for cancer. Education. Made in Peel. The video is such a reminder that when we are united in our purpose, we can serve our students, families, and communities so much better. And with that, we conclude the agenda for this evening. May I have a motion to adjourn the meeting? Trustee Davies, moved by Trustee Davies. May I have a seconder? Trustee Kathy McDonald. The meeting is now adjourned.